Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to virtually explore the Beaver Wellington 138 kilovolt transmission project. This transmission line is owned by American Transmission Systems Incorporated, or ATSI, a subsidiary of First Energy. This important reliability project is being completed as part of Energizing the Future, First Energy's targeted transmission investment program that involves upgrading many of our existing transmission facilities with advanced equipment and technologies that will reinforce the power grid and help prevent or reduce the duration of customer outages. This presentation is a follow-up to the in-person public information meetings held in January at the Brownhelm Town Hall in Wellington High School. The presentation will be narrated and slides will automatically advance. Please feel free to pause the presentation at any time to look more closely at the maps. In addition, we will provide information at the end indicating where you can access more detailed maps and diagrams. The Beaver Wellington project entails an approximately 23.2 mile, 138 kilovolt transmission line connecting the Beaver and Wellington substations in Lorain County, Ohio. The map depicted shows the overall area where the line will be located. We will highlight three main components of the project on the slides ahead. The first component of the Beaver Wellington project is an expansion of an existing 138 kilovolt substation located in Wellington Township. The approximate location of the substation is shown in the yellow highlighted area of the map. The second component involves constructing two new sections of 138 kilovolt transmission line. One section spans four miles, while the other is one mile in length. The general areas of the new transmission lines are highlighted in yellow on the map. The final component in the Beaver Wellington project involves reconfiguring the existing 138 kilovolt transmission line. This line will connect with two new sections of the line to complete the project. The existing transmission line that will be reconfigured is highlighted in yellow on the map. The overall objective of the Beaver Wellington project is to provide a second, independent, 138 kilovolt source of electricity into the Wellington substation. Adding the additional source will increase the reliability and operational flexibility on the 138 kilovolt and 69 kilovolt electric systems in the area. Benefits of the second electric source include improved system reliability and performance, quicker and safer restoration options, and increased flexibility to conduct scheduled maintenance. All of these improvements will reduce impacts from potential outages on transmission and distribution customers and provide additional capacity for future load growth and economic development in the area. ATSI retained the professional services of Jacobs Engineering Group to conduct a route selection study for the project. The purpose of the route selection study was to find route alternatives for the two new transmission line segments that minimized the overall impact of the project on both the natural environment and developed areas. Two low impact route alternatives were originally identified for each of the new line segments, a one mile section near Brownhelm Township and a four mile section near Wellington. Since the initial route recommendations, we've performed further examinations and also incorporated the feedback and comments received since the public information meetings in January. For the Brownhelm section of the project, the project team has designated the Western route, identified by the blue line as the preferred route and the Eastern route, identified by the magenta line as the alternate route for the one mile section. For the four mile or Wellington segment, the Southern route, identified by the blue line, has been selected as the preferred route, and the Northern route, identified by the magenta line, has been selected as the alternate route. 
It is important to note that the preferred route is proposed to be built along the same center line and using the same structures as an existing 69 kilovolt transmission line. While ETSI has selected preferred routes, the Ohio Power Siting Board, which we will discuss in more detail in the slides ahead, has the ability to approve either route. ATSI has assessed both routes for each segment as acceptable and buildable, and ATSI would proceed with the project even if the board approves the alternate routes. The proposed transmission line will be supported on a combination of structure types, including both single and multi-wood poles, as well as steel poles where necessary. The photos depict several different types of poles that may be used as part of the project. Heights of the poles will depend on the location of the transmission structure, topography, and any clearances that must be met. Overall, average structure heights are expected to range between 50 to 120 feet above ground. The right-of-way width required for this transmission line is 65 to 100 feet. In addition to the necessary right-of-way, ATSI may need to acquire land rights, such as priority tree rights or access road agreements to ingress or egress from the transmission line corridor. Priority tree rights are necessary for our Transmission Vegetation Management Group to maintain safe and reliable operation of our facilities. Priority trees are those trees that are dead, dying, diseased, structurally defective, leaning, or significantly encroaching to an extent that the transmission equipment could be impacted if the tree or portions of the tree grow toward or fall near or into the transmission facilities. ATSI will negotiate with property owners to obtain any necessary rights to support the new transmission line and is committed to working with landowners to minimize the project impacts on their property. It is ATSI's intent and preference to reach an amicable agreement with all impacted property owners. However, should that not occur, ATSI may seek these rights through eminent domain as a last resort. Safely operating the power grid is a cornerstone of delivering reliable and affordable energy to our customers. Unless properly maintained by First Energy, trees and other vegetation have the potential to come in contact with power lines and other electric facilities and cause power outages, especially during severe weather. First Energy employees and forestry contractors follow strict safety precautions and are committed to managing vegetation in ways that have a minimal impact on the environment while creating and sustaining compatible, stable, and low-growing habitat along the right-of-way. As mentioned earlier, if any additional tree clearing rights are needed, ATSI will negotiate with property owners to obtain the necessary rights. As a further commitment to the environment, a thorough environmental review of the project area was conducted as part of the identification of potential project routes. Through this review, environmental features were recorded and assessed. Additional, detailed environmental field studies will be conducted and any necessary environmental permits will be secured from local, state, and federal agencies prior to construction. Among those agencies are the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and state environmental protection agencies. In addition, ATSI must obtain authorization from the Ohio Power Siting Board prior to beginning construction on the project. The Beaver Wellington Project is subject to the review of the Ohio Power Siting Board, or OPSB. ATSI must submit an application to the OPSB to gain approval for project construction. The application will demonstrate that the project is both environmentally compatible and serves public need. The OPSB application process allows multiple opportunities for public input and comments on the proposed project. In addition, the process provides ample time for the OPSB to review prior to making their decision. Once the OPSB approve the project, they will issue a Certificate of Environmental Compatibility and Public Need, paving the way for construction of the project. The Ohio Power Siting Board has developed a detailed workflow for new applications. 
The process has multiple steps, starting with pre-application. You can view the application flowchart in more detail on the Ohio Power Siting Board website at www.opsb.ohio.gov. Key milestones for ATSI in the Beaver Wellington proposed construction schedule are reflected on this timeline. Currently, ATSI plans to file the project application with the Ohio Power Siting Board in August of 2020. If approved, ATSI expects to begin construction in approximately late spring, early summer of 2021. Your input is a valued and important part of a successful Beaver Wellington project. We encourage you to learn more about the OPSB and its project application and review process by visiting www.opsb.ohio.gov. You can provide feedback to the OPSB through email, phone, or via US mail. Contact information is shown on this slide. If you are reaching out to the OPSB about the Beaver Wellington project, please reference the project name, Beaver Wellington 138 kilovolt transmission line and OPSB case number 20-0004-EL-BTX. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to schedule an individual meeting with ATSI to discuss the Beaver Wellington project further, please contact the project team by phone at 1-888-311-4737 or by email at transmissionprojects at firstenergycorp.com. You can also visit the project website for more information in the Transmission Projects section on First Energy's website. A survey and comment form is available on the Beaver Wellington Project website. ATSI appreciates your interest in the Beaver Wellington Project. We look forward to working with all of you to complete this important project that will help enhance the reliability of the transmission system and ensure we continue delivering the safe, dependable electricity you count on.